today I'm gonna be reviewing a Hammerhead GTS 150. Uh, I got the base model, so it doesn't have all the fancy features of the Platinum, but in this video, I'll tell you what the Platinum has in comparison to this one, in case you're like, should I buy the Platinum or the base model? But hopefully this video gives you a grasp of what it has if you're looking to buy one. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so we got our dash controls first. So we got our 12 volt power outlet. I have this plugged in so I can charge my phone. We got a horn. We got blinkers, so you turn it this and you turn it like to go. And then on and off, so we got our key. It should come with two sets of keys when you buy it. And then our front light and our engine stop button. So right here, you got how many miles it has on it, and then you got the speed. Okay, so this little knob right here is forward, neutral, and reverse. So forward, neutral, and reverse. It actually works really well. I haven't had problems with it yet. And then right here, we have our parking brake also works really well. And now if you look over here, we have our pedals. So we have stop and go, so gas and brake. Uh, the brakes on this is, are hydraulic. They work actually better than I thought they would. So we got one brake for each front wheel and then we got one brake for the back. So the braking force, like the front wheels will lock up if you push it hard enough. So if you're looking into braking and stuff for this model, I wanna worry, braking is plenty good. Okay, so this has about a two and a half gallon gas tank. The stock gas tank on these aren't metal, they're plastic. I just put a metal one on, but the stock capacity is about two and a half ish gallons. I don't know the exact, it's like two something gallons. So it should last you the whole day if you're not like riding 24 seven. And then right here, we got the beast that powers this sucker. We got, um, what is it? 150 CC, nine horsepower GY6 Honda clone engine. It's been very reliable, hasn't given me any issues. Um, it can make you up pretty steep hills. I'm gonna show that right now. see it can make up decent sized hills um so i'm gonna go over like what you do for the engine and everything so right here if we take out the oil stick the dip stick so it takes about this much oil so 0.75 liters which is not that much actually pretty good pretty low amount and then one complaint that i have about it right here is the air box the air box is really hard to take off. I don't know why I don't have the two bolts on it, but usually it has two bolts that you gotta take off. You gotta disconnect it from the carburetor and then you gotta take it apart once you have it off. And then you gotta go clean the filter and go put it back on again. So it's a pain to clean the air filter on this thing. Engine. Okay, so just one more thing I wanted to mention about the engine right here. So this is the brake pad right in the rear. And then the bolt that I have the camera right next to is the oil drain bolt. So for oil changes, this is the bolt you're gonna use. Okay, before I get to the test drive and what I'm gonna show you, um, I wanted to mention these lights go up and down a lot if they're not tight enough, like they just aim down from the, all the vibrations from it. And speaking of vibrations, you can see these bolts are different sizes because I've had to replace them before because these have fell out for the, the roll cage and all that stuff. So the bolts fall out pretty easily. Like one time, this bolt right here, it fell out on the engine, like the whole engine just dropped and I had to get a special bolt to hold it in place better. Okay, so I'm just gonna drive it around over here. Um, I'm just gonna review it, like how well it drives, tell you the like the aspects of driving, like what's the handling on it. So yeah, let me go get started back on how it drives. see it goes pretty fast i only went about half throttle and I had two people in there okay so and it was kind of funny when i went into the bush i didn't steer all the way trust me this thing has a good turning radius it's not it's nothing to worry about um especially since it has reverse you're not going to get stuck anywhere 
And also at the beginning of this video, I mentioned I would say all the differences between the base or the major differences between the base uh, model and the, pre and the Platinum. So I'm gonna go over that now. Okay, so first we got the shocks. So the base uh, comes with the oil-filled shocks. Now these are on the oil-filled shocks. These are nitrogen gas ones I put on, even though this is the base. You can always swap, everything that comes on the Platinum, you can pretty much swap out if you want to. So the Platinum does come with nitrogen gas shock stock, and the difference is usually nitrogen gas is a lot smoother. The oil-filled one, oil filled ones cut it, but they're not the smoothest in the world. Next is the seat belt. So both of them have a five point harness. The difference is the platinum comes with this type where you slide it on this thing right here. So you slide it on when you sit in and then you pull this to release. So the platinum has this type. The base has a clip in one, which I think is easier and faster, but not as safe. So the reason why this base has one, the base model that I have has it is because I put them on and the platinum's not gonna have these exact ones. It has a different one. I think look nicer in my opinion, but just so you know. And also, the Platinum's gonna have aluminum wheels too. These ones come with steel wheels, so a little stronger, but the aluminum wheels do look better. Okay, hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Uh, I work hard on these videos, so consider subscribing if you like my content. Uh, like if you liked it, if not, don't like, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some engine repair stuff in the future, and also check out some of my other videos if you like this one. So hopefully y'all enjoyed and um yeah see you in the, see you next time